Jesus left the temple and his disciples asked him about the end of the age and the signs of his coming. Jesus told them that many people would come in his name claiming to be the Messiah and deceive many. They would hear of wars and rumors of wars but not be alarmed. Nation would rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom leading to famines and earthquakes. Birth pains would begin and many would turn away from the faith and betray each other. False prophets would appear and deceive many people. The gospel of the kingdom would be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come. When Jesus saw the abomination that causes desolation, he instructed his disciples to flee to the mountains and not to take anything out of their homes or fields. Pregnant women and nursing mothers would be particularly dreadful during these days. The days of distress were cut short for the sake of the elect and no one would survive. False messiahs and false prophets would appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive even the elect. The Son of Man would appear on the clouds of heaven and all the peoples of the earth would mourn when they saw him coming on the clouds with power and great glory. The Son of Man would send his angels with a loud trumpet call and his elect would gather from the four winds. The disciples learned from the fig tree that summer is near when they saw these things. This generation will not pass away until all these things have happened, but his words will never pass away. The day and hour of the sun's coming is unknown, but it will be like the days of Noah. People would know nothing about what would happen until the flood took them away. Two men would be taken in the field and two women would be grinding with the hands.